Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Angel Handmade Paper Craft. Today I am working with Whimsy Stamps and I am using Wee Snippet and Misty. This is one of the June release digital stamps and of course it is absolutely gorgeous. It is one of these midges designed by Chrissy Armstrong and I am totally in love. It's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous image. So I have printed her out onto some Express It blending card using my brother laser printer. Um, you don't need to use a laser printer. Some uh, some normal uh, inkjet printers do do um, Copic safe printing as well. I do have a Canon printer which prints perfect. It doesn't bleed or anything like that. Um, and that allows me to use my Copic markers as well. So that's what I've done with this one. And I am colouring her up using my Copic markers. So I'm using my go-to skin blend which is the E000. 00, 21, 11, EO4 and R20. Um, all of the other Copic markers I will have listed on my blog so if you'd like to check those out I will have links below the video. I'm going in with some VG markers for her little dress. Well I don't know if it's a dress or not, <laughs> you can't see the bottom half. Um, I'm now going in using my colourless blender to create a polka dot look on the dress. You can't see it so much in the video here but on the actual card you can see. So I decided to give my make my horse a little white, sort of light, light grey kind of a horse, absolutely gorgeous. Um, this will allow all of those colours that I am using to pop out of the image as well. So I wanted to use some purple on the horse's mane, so I'm using some of my V markers for that. And then I'm going to do a little yellow flower with the little girl's hair and then add a few little bits and bobs here and there. So I did go a little wink of Stella Crazy on this image. How could you not? The hair on this, the mane or hair or whatever, on this horse is absolutely darling. It did take me forever to colour it all in and get those V markers to blend perfectly. But it was very, very well worth it in the end. So this video does go for about eight minutes. Um, I have super sped up the colouring because, like I said, it did take me quite a while to colour all of the hair in on this horse. So bear with me. So I am using VO4, 6 and 9 on my image. Love this Copic purple blend. Um, it's one of my favourites lately to be using. I'm just working my way through. I do apologise, this is going to take forever. Um, update on things here. Um, been back to my doctor yesterday and she has put me back on crutches. So until I get my ankle surgery, I am back on crutches. So I was using those yesterday afternoon and my arms are so sore. So I guess I'm going to have to get used to that. I'm trying not to use them so much at home. I'm just trying not to do much walking around on my foot. So it's more just if I am out and about, but today is a home day. So I'll pick my son up from school and get him to run into the shop and grab me a couple of things that we need for dinner. And that will be that, doing, trying to spend a couple of days off my feet if possible. So yeah, hopefully they can um, move the surgery up a little bit sooner now that I am at my wit's end with this ankle and in a lot more pain than I have been recently. So they're going to see what they can do. How pretty is this hair? I absolutely love it. Not much else is happening here. Um, my parents are away on holidays at the moment, so... Dropped them off at this train station yesterday morning in the absolute pouring rain. It was absolutely horrendous yesterday. We've had a little bit more rain this morning, but we're due for some more this afternoon. My husband's getting the rain at work at the moment. But we can definitely need it. We're in a drought at the moment, which means that we're on water restrictions. Um, I mean, you can't wash your car and all that sort of stuff without a special hose and... You don't know, standing out there, oh, sorry, watering the grass or anything like that. So here I am, I'm just adding some Wink of Stella to the hair, and now I'm going to go in with my Uniball White Gel Pen and add some detail in as well. I'm just going section by section with the purple marker, 
just so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. I didn't want to accidentally colour in somewhere where I shouldn't have. And I'm just using my colourless blender just to fix up a couple of areas that did come out because they were so fine. Like I said, going crazy with my Wink of Stella. I think I'm due to buy some new ones soon. I've added water to these so many times, it's not funny. Um, for those of you who have Wink of Stellas, you can actually open them up and pop that little top off and just use a little syringe and pop a little bit more water in there and shake it up and that'll loosen up that last little bit of glitter that's left in there. Um, and I've done it a couple of times because sometimes it just settles. Working my way through. We're just about done with the hair now. Oh, I'm sure I had a good sleep last night, but yep, I'm yawning my face off. The footy is on tonight, so my husband will be up staying up late, so that means that I won't be having an early night either, so I will be up watching the footy. Adding some more Wink of Stella. Can't go wrong with Wink of Stella. And then I'll go in and add some more dotted detail. I just think the dotted detail just, it just brings out the hair that little bit more and I absolutely loved it. It turns out way better. Oh, here I go again. <laughs> it turns out way better than what I was expecting. Keeping myself up, I think. Going in and colouring all of the flower garlands and this is my image all coloured up. So now stick with me and we'll put the card together. So I'm using the American Crafts hashtag summer paper pen. I'm using some glue dots to adhere all of those goodies down. Just working out my layout there. Adding some more glue dots down. I loved this little tiny bit of um, clouds paper that I had left from the paper pad. So I'm just running that down the side, cutting off the excess. And of course, can't go wrong with some of my favorite things, puffy clouds. Popping those on there. More glue dots. A really simple card on this one. I really loved it. Now I'm just going to add in some little leftovers here from the paper pad. And I'm just cutting down some thin strips using my Tim Holtz guillotine. That's the Tonic Studios one. Um, that'll It's got a little guard on it which allows you to cut really, really fine without losing your fingers. Because you can hold that guard down which will hold the paper down still. And I'm just using my pen knife to carefully cut the edges off. Adding some more to the top right hand side there. And then I decided I needed another cloud. It just wasn't even for me. So I did add another cloud on. That's my card finished. So I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all soon. Bye.